G'day mate, my name is Margie, I'm an Australian living in America and normally I would have my lovely husband here with me but he's currently at work so instead it's just going to be me today going through our book gift guide for Christmas and how to include books that will promote diversity and inclusion around the Christmas time because yeah unfortunately they all tend to be fairly white Santa's fully abled and just male airplane going over us. So instead, I wanted to try and look at some other books that promote people with different abilities, people of different genders, different races and cultures within Christmas books. Obviously, this is inspired by our book, My Santa, Your Santa. It's something that we created because we couldn't find what we wanted on Amazon or in Target or at Barnes and Nobles, basically any gift store. There are some great books individually about different Santas of different abilities or of different colors but nothing that for us was really inclusive or just showed different types of kids with different types of Santas in different types of families. But I'll go into our book a little bit more later on. I wanna go through some other books first. If you're new to the channel as well, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, all of the fun stuff as well. Um, all the books as well listed will be in the description box down below for you to check out. Now in general, a good place to start is just Google shopping, typing in multicultural Christmas books, and this will show you a load of different options for different stores like Walmart, Target, Christian Books, Barnes and Nobles. So that will at least give you a bit of a variety. You can have a look around and see what's available to be shipped to you locally. So our first book I really wanna talk about is called Merry Christmas to All. It's by Isa here. She created an amazing book and honestly, I think it is one of a kind as well. It's all about her patient's true stories. And the book is intricately crafted to teach compassion for children of all circumstances. The story is about Asa, who whilst having a regular Christmas, discovers the world of more vulnerable children and leaves them with a new perspective and a mission to see the joy of Christmas experienced by everyone. One of my favorite things about this book is at the back, it has an activity section and it also goes through different gifts for different children of different abilities and conditions and what would be best for them at Christmas so that they can enjoy it. There really is no other book like this showing children with different levels of ability or conditions. It is exactly one of a kind. I really couldn't find anything else online. And all the proceeds of this as well, 100% of them go towards Ovi Healthcare, which is transformative healthcare for the world's most vulnerable children, which I think is just absolutely brilliant and such a lovely dedication for this book. The book is available on Amazon for hardcover for about $10.49. It's also available in paperback as well, but I do think the hardcover is really beautiful. There are loads of reviews as well. I really recommend going and having a read through them. It really gives you a great perspective on how other people thought this book was really well written and how inclusive it is, especially at Christmas time. As this book showcases children with cancer, physical disabilities, special needs, as well as cultural diversity as well, which is really important at Christmas and throughout the year. Our second book, of course, is our book, My Santa, Your Santa. And our book really focuses on trying to show Santas of all different shapes and sizes, as well as families of all different shapes, sizes, genders, LGBTQ friendly ones, single parent ones, large families, interracial families, no matter what country they're in, because they exist in every single country. The story follows the idea that Santa is made of magic and that explains how he gets around the world so fast, in and out of homes, without chimneys, and also why he might turn into different looking Santas depending on the child he is visiting, or she is visiting. At the back of the book is a page for children to draw their own Santa and the gift they got for that year, and with the larger hardcover version there are multiple pages for this so the child can do it each year, as well as letters to Santa pages for writing and drawing practice and colouring in pages as well. It's available worldwide on Amazon and the link for it will be in the description box and the comments below as well. Our third favourite book that we want to highlight was All the Colours of Christmas. This book is all about the many different things that make up Christmas, from decorations, the weather, caroling, Jesus' birth, and Santa and his reindeer. We feel that it's a really inclusive book, as not only are all the characters in it culturally diverse, but there are also references to colors throughout, and that the color brown for skin is a blessing, and also ethnically correct for that region of the world. The integration of showing children of all colors at the end, putting on a Christmas play, was a really great way to end it, and I think it shows that all children are a part of Christmas and how it is seen. You can also see that the reviews speak for themselves, showing the joy that children and teachers have found with this book and its representation as well. 
Now the next few books are some of our favorite ones from our local library. The first one of these is called Noche Bueno. I'm hoping that I pronounce that correctly. This is a book though that celebrates Latino tradition around the Christmas time and it's available in both English and in Spanish. This is a really great book, I think, to explain the different traditions at Christmas in other countries as well as cultures within the same country. As someone who doesn't know much about Latino tradition but is living in America now, I find this book to be so colorful and well-written in a beautiful poem style as well, which I think is both engaging for kids and adults too, and really helps educate you on how Christmas can look differently from what you experience Christmas as. The next book I wanna highlight is The Nutcracker in Harlem. This is a really beautiful retelling of The Nutcracker, but with more jazz-inspired innovation to it. It is a fantastic way of showing that traditional stories can be retold to be more diverse as well. It's really beautifully illustrated, showing families with multiple skin tones and really makes you feel like you are in Harlem at the Christmas time. Again, you can see from the reviews that people really enjoy this book as well. And it's just a perfect way of showing that representation really does matter for children. And this is a great book to show both female and African-American representation. Now, the last book I want to show is definitely by far the most controversial one, and it is called Santa's Husband. This is a gay representation of Santa and was actually written by Daniel Kibblesmith as a retaliation to a homophobic tweet from a Fox News presenter. As you can see, it's a very fresh twist on Chris Kringle that tells a story of Black Santa and his white husband in their life at the North Pole. I think this is actually a really nice addition because again, not all parents are in straight relationships. So to have something that shows LGBTQIA relationships is really important as well. Now, not so unsurprisingly, the reviews are all over the place for this one, depending on who's gotten the book. But for the families that it is meant for, or for people who appreciate it, like interracial families and people in gay marriages or gay families, you can see by the reviews that they really love it and appreciated it. So we wanted to share this book with you as well because we also want our son to see that not all families are alike and that that is totally okay to be what is considered different because different is not wrong, it's just different from what you're used to. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Don't forget to leave a comment down below if there's a book in particular that you really liked. Uh, there will be links in the description as well for each of these books. Don't forget to check out part one of the video, which is all about how to use decorations to include diversity and inclusion, as well as part three, which will be out next, which will be going through a toy and gift guide basically to help promote that idea. So we will see you in that video. Mwah! Bye.